Today we're checking out this PDF prompt generator by Laser Eye Bunny. It's very comprehensive and easy to use. And all you need to do is head to this link, which is in the description below. It is $10. But let's test drive it and see how it works. I start by putting in what I want to see in my prompt, which in this case is a blue hairy monster smashing up the city. I'll also add in something like dark red skies. But now I'm going to go through and I can choose things like the photography type. You'll see that there's a whole bunch of options here that you can try and experiment with to uh, get what you want. I'm gonna go through and check out these, a camera, lens, f-stop, composition. If you don't know what these are, you can play with them to see what results you get. But I'm gonna just choose a bunch of these options to test out. This left column does seem to be more geared towards photography, but uh, you can see from the effects here, it's about creating something that's photo realistic. But there are other options we'll get to. You can see in this right column here, we've got things like painting, drawing, digital, and a bunch of parameters you can add in automatically as well. So now let's copy this prompt and paste it in the Discord to see what we get. We paste this straight into Discord. We don't even have to type in imagine. We just paste it straight in, hit enter, and this is the result we get. This pretty cool, sort of very kind of realistic blue monster. Now, in many cases, the, you know, the monster doesn't necessarily look real, but it does look photographic. It's created a very good and very photographic look. So choosing these options, I do believe, has helped to frame these photos a bit better and create more photorealistic images. And it's been quite easy as I pick these at random. Now, let's try something different. I'm going to reset all so I can go again. And I'm going to have a tiny human in a bowl of cereal. And this time I want to set up more for sort of macro photography. So we get that really up close photography style and change a few of the settings around to see how different the results are again. So I copy, paste, and let's check out what Mid Journey gives us. You see how we've got this really cool look depending on the bits and pieces we got from the prompt generator. We've got that macro effect, everything's up nice and close. All of the other details are out of focus and it just looks like a really spot on piece of macro photography, all generated through Mid Journey and this prompt generator. What about something a little bit different again? I'm gonna go for an angel frog up in the heavens. Gonna skip the camera settings. I'm actually gonna play with a few more artistic styles and uh, go from there. I'm gonna create one prompt and then I'm actually gonna go back, change a few bits and pieces, and then create a second prompt to see what results we get playing with the more artistic settings of this generator. The first prompt I've chosen to paint in the style of an oil painting along with the other options I've chosen. And the second prompt, the style of a crayon and origami. And you can see prompt one has definitely followed through with the style choices and created something that's uh, pretty unique. It's, it's not even what I expected, but very cool to see this sort of style come to life. And I think that this generator has a good idea of exposing me to more styles I'm just not used to. And this is prompt two, a much more basic sort of style, sort of crayon and origami mix. They kind of don't really go together, but the, the images it produced are different and a um, bit more unique as well. So you can get some pretty cool results by playing around with this. Now, I do recommend checking it out if you want to check it out, obviously. Um, there's a link in the description below. Remember, it's by Laser Eye Bunny. This PDF prompt generator is a lot of fun. Check it out, have a play, and um, yeah, go from there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon, and have a great day.